Hey, I'm Red. Today we're gonna go over bell melodies, more specifically emotional trap bell melodies like the Story by NF. I have broken down the simple secrets behind making a melody like this one and today I'll show you how you can easily start applying them to make better beats. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide whether you want my advice on this is the final melody I created using the simple steps shown later in this video. If you like the melody, then I got a bunch of tips for you so you can start making your own right away. And if not, well, I have a bunch of other melody breakdowns in my channel for you. With that said, Here's the final melody. Story's melody has two main elements, and those are a bell lead and ambient pads. So let's start with the bell lead. This beat was made at 115 BPM in the A minor scale, by the way. Step one, which chords to use? This is Story's lead bell progression. Right off the bat, we can assume this melody has four chords based off of these root notes. The first one being A minor, A is still the root, three steps above it is C, and four steps above it is E, A minor. And this is simply the bass note, which is also part of the chords. Okay, easy. But if we move a little forward, things get a little weirder. These notes stay the same, even though the chord has changed. And also, if you take a closer look at this bass note, it isn't even in key. Well, these notes stay the same because this is a dark trap melody. Of course, they're gonna stay the same. That is one of the qualities of dark trap other than using way too many bell samples. It's repetitive. When you're making dark trap, you don't look at this whole space. You basically just look at this space and copy and paste with small changes, especially the top notes. So that is going to be our first step for recreating this melody. Step one, top notes should stay similar. Now onto the second thing. This is not as out of key as you think it is. You see, there's a principle in music called the circle of fifths, and it has a bunch of uses, but mainly it allows you to see which notes you could use to get out of key while still sounding good. And long story short, basically you can use this note using that principle. The reason they chose to use it is because the dissonance between these three notes make the melody sound mysterious and creepy. So that would be our second step. Step two, don't be afraid to get out of key. And the last thing I want to point out is that although the top notes stay pretty much the same, the bottom notes are descending. This descending notes play into the whole creepiness thing a lot. So let's write that down too. Step three, descending chord progression. And that's about it for the lead melody, so let's build a melody of our own using these steps. For the sound selection, I'm going to use this bell one shot and add this effect to it. Cut out the high end and a bunch of reverb. Now, to make this melody, we need a scale, and that's going to be A minor. Now, we need a descending chord progression with top notes that stay as unchanged as possible. So, for that, first choose four root notes. Here's where you should add that descending progression. Keep it simple, just four note line that is going down. Now we'll add some top notes to that. The first one will be the same as our root note. Since that is the first note of our scale, you know it will sound good when the pattern loops over. For the second, let's keep it also the same as the root. Now for the third one, let's go back to our tonic, the A. I'm doing this because our bass note is an F and four steps above it is an A, meaning A is a part of an F major chord. So this is a chord that contains our bass notes, so it'll also sound good together. Also like this, our top notes are looking pretty similar, which is good for step one. And for this one, same thing. Let's go back to G because G is a part of E minor and that chord uses our bass note. Listen to that. Very sad. Now, to add a little variation, let's take this part up a bit and done. Now, to fill in the spaces, let's add something in between. Now, here we can't just add anything. Usually, you'll want to add either the third, the fifth, or the seventh of each chord. By that, I mean this. Chords are built by skipping one note of the scale and then adding a note. This would be the third, this the fifth, and this the seventh. You usually don't want to put notes outside of this on important beats. That would be this one and this one. So, in this case, we'll add these notes right here fifth on all of them and bring it down an octave so the top notes are still this ones let's listen to that Very nice, very sad. Now here we have two options. Using these notes we could build a repetitive progression like story or we could build a more 
space your top melody, making the whole thing a lot sadder. For the first option, we would keep our notes half a beat long, and for the second option, we want to make our notes one beat or longer. In this case, I'll go with this simple, spacey and emotional top melody. The first notes being the same as the ones from our bass notes, and the ones in the end are simply the second or the thirds. And this is being played on a soft piano preset on laps, which is a free BSC by the way. And that's about it for the lead melody, now let's get on to the other effects. To separate our melody even further from sounding like story, let's add this simple vocal chop progression I made using the hooked preset on arcade. and add this effect to it. Cut out the high end, reverb, delay, and some chorus to make it bigger. Now all we need is some extra ambience, transition effects, and we're done. Now some reverse vocal chops to make the actual vocal chops more interesting. drums for the verse and drums for the drop And done! That's how to make a dreamy trap bell melody like Story by NF. Here's our four steps once again in case you want to screenshot this to use it later. And before I play the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more of this, subscribe. And as always, see ya!